In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your Gmail inbox and get it back to zero messages fast. If you're anything like I am, then you have hundreds of email messages in your Gmail inbox. You might even have thousands of messages with hundreds unread, or maybe even tens of thousands of messages. The point is that if we aren't careful, our inboxes can get out of hand and the digital avalanche can bury important messages, causing us to miss them. Maybe you've got an email telling you about an upcoming charge in your account, or maybe a message from a service provider telling you about a planned outage, or an email from an airline telling you that your flight information has changed. You get it, important stuff. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to wrestle your inbox back to zero messages so that you can have a fresh start and see new emails when they arrive. In this video, I won't spend any time talking about strategies you can use to reduce the number of messages that come to your inbox in the first place, but if that's something you're interested in, drop a comment and let me know. If you need to act on a large number of messages at the same time, then the Gmail web app is the way to go. Just access it on a Windows or Apple computer. Let's jump into Gmail. This is my primary Gmail account, and as you can see, I currently have a total of 268 messages in my inbox. 164 of them are unread messages. Gmail shows us 50 messages at a time and displays arrows over here to let you page back and forth across them. Before you follow the steps I'm about to show you, you'll probably want to skim the messages in your inbox to find any important ones. Just scroll to the bottom of a page, glancing at the sender and the subject of each message. If it's important, click the star icon to mark it. Go to the next page and repeat until you've reviewed at least the last 30 or 60 days of email messages. This process should only take you a few minutes because we're not opening the messages, we're just marking them with a star. I'm going to click on the inbox label at the left to return to my first page. Just above my first message is a select checkbox. Let's click that. We've just selected the first 50 messages in my inbox. When we did that, two things happened. The first is that a number of additional buttons appeared next to the select checkbox. The second is that a new row appeared between that select checkbox and our first message. All 50 conversations on this page are selected. I'm gonna click the blue text next to that to select all inbox messages. The label has changed to all 268 conversations in the inbox are selected. Now we're gonna do two more things and then we'll be finished. First, let's mark these messages as red. You don't have to do this part, but marking them as red is a great way to let yourself know you don't need to act on these messages anymore. It'll clear the unread message count and cause your mobile email app to stop showing a number on the app icon. Click the last button in the row of tools next to the select checkbox. It's a stack of three dots. Then click mark as red. The last thing we'll do is archive these messages. Gmail gives you enough storage so you don't have to delete your messages after you've dealt with them. Scroll to the bottom of the page to see how much storage you are using and how much you have left. When you archive a message, you can always find it again using search or you can click more on the left and then click all mail to see all of your archived messages. Click the archive button, which is the second button in the row of tools next to the select checkbox. And that's it. We've put our Gmail inbox back to zero. Now when new messages come in, we'll notice and we can act on them right away. We can also show the messages we starred by expanding more on the left and clicking start. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.